I can't believe it, Triton! You're a dwarf planet like us, but you got caught in a planetary orbit! That's unheard of! Is that even possible? Well, there's no reason why not! Neptune appears to have extremely strong gravitational forces! He sure does! He pulled us clean out of the Kuiper Belt! That's rough, buddy! At least he didn't make us his moons! Otherwise, we would be a double planet orbiting a planet! Planetception! Okay, guys, enough! I'm a dwarf planet, and that's all there is to it. Well, you're kind of a moon. What? Excuse me? The definition of a moon is essentially objects that spins around another object that isn't a star, while being a dwarf planet requires orbiting the sun. Plus the whole being spherical and not clearing your orbit thing. Wait. I'm not spherical. I'm elliptical. Am I not really a dwarf planet either? And I'm not orbiting a planet right now, so... Now, can we stop with the labeling? You all sound like the moons, and they all rebelled against their planets for this exact reason. Yeah, good point. I suppose that's fair. I'm glad to meet you regardless. You're a fascinating phenomenon. Is that supposed to be a compliment? I don't think he even knows that. Oh, on the topic of fascinating phenomena, I have been looking into one. I think he wants us to follow him? Sounds about right. Come on, gotta make the most out of the time away from your planet, right? Right. Triton, you coming? Uh, yeah, sorry. There has been a strange gravitational phenomenon out in the Kuiper Belt for a while now. I thought we could check it out. What, like a field trip? Yes, exactly! Could be fun! After all, if the gravitational shift turns out to be meaningful, it could have devastating consequences for the Kuiper Belt! Sorry, what do you mean by devastating? Oh, you know, objects being pushed out of the solar system, new objects forming, destructive asteroid storms. Maybe we could even crash into each other and break apart! You have a strange definition of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's that giggle again. Uh, I thought that was Triton. I told you I don't giggle. <laughs> oh, this is like our Dungeons and Dwarf Planets games, but in real life. Everyone stay still. Maybe it'll leave if we don't move. When has that ever worked? It's coming closer. All right, I'm getting sick of this. Come out, whoever you are. Yeah! If you want to crash into us, do it straight ahead. Well, you got it to stop. Good job, Pluto. <laughs> yeah, that, that was my plan. Woo. Hey there. You want to come out and talk to us? Talk to us? <laughs> oh, that's a surprise. Who are you? Surprise! <laughs> Wait, that must be Ceres. I heard about him. Another dwarf planet. He's supposed to live all alone in the asteroid belt. Oh my stars! Well, that would certainly explain why you can't form words all alone like that. Well, that's sad. Everything okay there, Sirius? Oh, okay? Aw, he's just shy. So, if Sirius is from the asteroid belt, how did he get here? Looks like he likes Sharon. Maybe he followed her back here? All right, buddy, that's enough. Maki Maki, we found our gravitational anomaly. Can we head back now, before something else shows up? Uh, okay, come along, Ceres! Ugh, I guess we're taking them with us. Our astronomical adventurers are gathered once more to continue their fight against evil. Since our last session, two new adventurers have joined them in their current quest to stop the maniacal moon gang they have been sneaking up on. Tritonius the Ranger and... Uh, what name did you want to go for again, Ceres? Did you really think this was gonna work? It does feel like the complexities of the game may be lost on him. I could help him play his character. I think it's about time I get to play anyways. You have a point. All right, who's joining our group then? Hmm, let's say... Ceres. 
Ciron the Barbarian! <laughs> That's great, kid. Now, what do I do in this game? You just tell me what you would do, and then I tell you how to do it. You are currently on the hunt for the mysterious Moon Gang. Last time, you succeeded in sneaking up on their camp and their mysterious evil leaders. Wait, you based the bad guys in this game on the Moon Revolution? Listen, Maki Maki asked me if I had ideas for our next adventure, and I gave some input. It's all in good fun. <laughs> Get ready, my moons! We have a lot of planets and dwarf planets to destroy! Oh, I can't wait. I love destruction. Well, I wasn't there for most of it. Creative license. All right, you two new adventurers. You have any idea on how to deal with this threat? Well, I... Wait a second! Oh? You have an idea of how to handle this? <laughs> Maki Maki, I'm gonna run straight in and attack them! Um, Saren, do you really think this is a good idea? Barbarian Rage! Wow, they're really getting into this. That works too, I... I, I... I gotta go, guys. Ugh! Why can't we ever finish any of these games? I miss Triton! Me too. Neptune, can't you two make peace? I will be here when he is ready to talk. Neptune! Oh boy, that was fast. I remember! I remember what happened! 